Yo, what's up? This is your girl Dragon and it's time for another Fortnite creative tutorial. Today we're going to be diving into devices and I'm going to show you how to use the input trigger device. If you want to see more tutorials like these, be sure to subscribe and drop a like. That way you don't miss a thing. If you do, I really appreciate you. Thanks. All right, it's time to dive in so I can show you guys how to use this new device. Let's go. All right, today we're going to be looking at the input trigger device. This device is so handy and I can't wait to show you guys what you can do with this. The input trigger device is a way to trigger events when players press or release a particular control input. You can use the device to capture when an input is pressed and which player pressed it. You can do this with event binding in Fortnite Creative as well as UEFN and Verse. So let's check out what you can do. As you see here to the left hand side, you can see the inputs that I put special effects for. You can press X to jump for effects. You can crouch for a sound, press square to interact for camera. And I have a character over there that the um, player can press square to interact with if they need a tip or something like that, no matter where they are on the island. And then I have sprint to slip and slide. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this works and how cool this is. So you can press X to see the special effects. And when I stop pressing X, it stops. Now, the key to this is the player has to hold down the input to see the effect. If they release, it's going to go away. All right, so every time they press that X button, they're going to see whatever you assign to that input. Really cool. Next, I have Crouch for Sound. So you can see no matter where the player is, every time they crouch, you're going to hear whatever sound you assign to that input. And then let's say you have a game where tips are needed and you can either use like a HUD message device with a random number generator to produce random tips every time they press a button, or you can use characters. So that's what I did here. Um, I press square and it will take me to the character no matter where they are and I can get a tip. So I could be over here. I can still see and get a chance to talk back to the character and so forth. Next is slip and slide. So if they begin to run, you're going to see they're going to have that slip and slide effect. Just like that. Now it's not going to stop until they jump and then everything returns back to normal. What a neat way to add an effect for a parkour. What do you think? All right, now that you guys see all the cool effects you can do with the input trigger, let's go ahead and check out the settings so you can see how I did this. All right, we're back. Let's go ahead and check out the settings. So first, for the special effects for input X, I have it set like this. So the custom is set to four for jump. It's going to show on HUD and I have jump for effects. I will be registering the player for this. So I'm using add registered and you can even choose to have a special symbol for mobile players, which is really cool. For functions, I'm registered when receiving from the player spawner. So I want to register the player when they spawn in and unregister when they release the button. So I'm basically assigning it to this particular trigger to unregister them every time they release the button. For events on input pressed, we're going to send an event to the VFX creator to enable to spawn at player and to start effect at player. On input released, we're going to send an event to unregister the player to stop the effect at player. And then we also going to clear the grind power up that's on input four. And you'll see that here in a bit. And that's why it clears when they jump. All right, so let's look at the VFX creator. So this is just a sample. Just remember, you guys can do whatever you like. It's fully customizable. So be sure to experiment.
for functions is enable when receiving from the input trigger, IP1 when the input is pressed, and spawn at player. Again, these should directly be binded already. Uh, input trigger effect IP1 on input pressed. We're going to start the effect again on the input pressed. We're going to stop it when the input is released. And that's it. If you want to add a slip and slide effect like I did for sprinting, you're going to be using input five, our custom five sprint. Be sure to name your HUD description so that the players can know what it is and so forth. We will not be registering the player for this particular effect. We're just going to add an input here to pick up the grind power up when they press the button. All right, what about the sound? So for the sound, this is my settings. I'm using custom three crouch and crouch for sound for the description and so forth. I will be registering the player so that the sound only plays to the registered player because it can get a little bit busy when everyone's hearing the same sounds. So that is very, very important. And then on input pressed, we're going to send an event to the audio player to play and to register the player. And for the audio device, I have it set to enable during phase always and so forth. And you can see it can only be heard by the registered player. All right, and then play when receiving from input trigger IP2 when the input is pressed and register on IP2 when the input is pressed. Again, that should be automatically binded and there you go. Now for this setup, it involves just a little bit more. I needed a timer to basically show that dialogue is happening and a pop-up device to show the dialogue. We need a camera device to have it fixed upon the character and then of course the input trigger. So let's first go over the input trigger. I have it set to custom six interact. So every time they press square or the button that's assigned on the screen, which will most likely be square, um, it's going to connect them to this camera. So I have interact for camera. Um, or you can put interact for tips and so forth. I will be registering the player here. There are no functions. And when the input is pressed, we're going to enable the camera fixed point. We're going to add to player for the camera fixed point. We're going to show the pop-up dialog and we're going to start the timer. And for the camera, these are my settings. And again, this is just so you can see what you can do with the device. So use this as an example. It's enabled when receiving from input trigger camera IP3 when the input is pressed. We're going to add it to the player when the input is pressed. We're going to remove from player when the timer device succeeds. And that's it. Now the character device is just easy. You just want to make sure it's placed and doing what you want it to do. There's no functions and there's no events. For the pop-up, of course you want to put the title and the name and how you want it displayed on the screen and so forth. You can show when receiving from the input trigger when the input is pressed. And this is it for functions. And then for events, there are no events. And for the timer, there's a duration of five seconds and so forth. Make sure it does only apply to the player. 
and timer running Texas dialogue. And we will be showing it on HUD. We're going to start when receiving from input trigger on input pressed. And then on events, on success, we're going to send an event to the camera fix point IP3 to remove from player. That's it. I hope you guys can see how many amazing things you can do with this device. And I just had to share some tips since when I saw this device, I was like, whoa, this will, this definitely opens up the horizon for what we can do. So I want to say, yo, thanks, Epic. This is so cool. And um, this is going to be an amazing tool going forward. Yo, you guys, thanks for hanging out. I hope this gives you better insight on how to use the input trigger for your projects. It's super handy. So happy to have it. If you guys are feeling supportive, be sure to drop my code in the item shop. It really helps out. And if you do, you are amazing. That's going to do it for this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Right? Bye.